Hello and welcome back, or if it's your first time here, welcome, welcome. It's the week of September 6th, 2022. My name is Amelia, and from Locus Magazine, I'm gonna talk about all of the new science fiction, fantasy, and horror books that are coming out this week. Also, sorry, I'm a liar. We said we'd be here every week, and we missed a week because last week in Chicago was the World Science Fiction Convention and the Hugo Awards. And if you don't know what those things are, I wanna know all the things that you know, because clearly we know different things. If you found this channel, there's a good chance you already know that there are a number of conventions for this kind of stuff where you can turn up and chat with authors and pros and other people who have a lot of interesting things to say about genre books. Worldcon and World Fantasy are two of those major conventions, and if you haven't been to one, there's a whole community out there. Join us. Anyway, onto the show. I have seven science fiction titles, 14 fantasy titles, and five horror titles, all available now from various book publishers. Fantasy first this time. From Stephen King, we saw Fairy Tale out from Scribner in hardcover ebook and audio. We're calling this a dark fantasy novel. From the review at Slate, it's sometimes grisly, sometimes tense, and sometimes a bit goofy. You'll inhale fairy tale in big 100 page swaths without the slightest effort or strain, and you'll be grateful that there are 600 plus pages of it to remind you several times over how much fun that kind of reading experience is. The story is about Charlie Reed, age 17, who inherits both a dog and the keys to a parallel world where good and evil are at war. From Grant Morrison, we saw Luda out from Del Rey in hardcover ebook and audio. The LA Times review said, Comics icon Grant Morrison's debut novel is a marvel of Oedipal camp. This is a novel about a drag queen whose ambitious protege is determined to learn the perception-bending art of the glamour inspired by All About Eve. Let's touch on a few science fiction titles next. From Dan Cobalt, we saw Deploying Dragons out from Bane and Trade Paperback and Ebook. This is a near future SF novel, second in the Build a Dragon sequence series begun in Domesticating Dragons. Author Dan Cobalt is also a scientist who works as a principal investigator for the Institute of Genomic Medicine at Nationwide Children's Hospital, waiting for the Build a Dragon kiosks to start showing up at the malls. From Kate Dillon, we saw Mindwalker out from Hotter and Stoughton, UK, in ebook and audio. From the review, A Track of Words, Mindwalker is a breathless blast of neon-soaked, tactically modded fun laid over a surprisingly dark and powerful core. In a divided, post-apocalyptic America, 18-year-old Syl Sarah is a mindwalker for the Syntex Corporation, modded and trained to step into field agents' minds from afar and extract them from the most dangerous missions knowing full well that she only has a year or so of life remaining before her implants finally kill her. Syl is determined to go out with her perfect mission record intact right up until something goes horribly wrong and she finds herself on the run from her own people. And one horror title real quick. From Tiffany D. Jackson, we saw The Weight of Blood out from Tegan Books in hardcover, ebook, and audio. From the Carcass Review, Jackson's latest retells Stephen King's Carrie with electric social commentary. Springville, inspired by real towns in the United States that still have segregated proms, has a lot of learning to do. No one knows this better than Madison Washington, a light-skinned biracial girl who has grown up with her white father and has been passing for white her entire life. At least until a surprise rainy day during gym class exposes her hair's natural texture and her black ancestry and she's outed against her will, followed later by the requisite prom scene. I did say it was a take on Stephen King's Carrie. Finally, we'll speed up a little from here. I was going to tell you that there was going to be a test, but there won't be. Or if it was, it would be an open book test. From Kaylin Josephson, we saw Ravenfell in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a young adult fantasy novel about Ravenfall Inn, a magical B&B at the crossroads of the human world and the other world. From Claire North, we saw Ithaca in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a historical fantasy novel, the first in the Penelope series based on the story of Odysseus's wife. From Kenneth Opal, we saw Ghost Light in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a middle grade fantasy novel. One teen summer job scaring tourists with ghost stories takes a terrifying turn when he accidentally summons the spirit of a dead girl. From A.G. Riddle, we saw Lost in Time in hardcover ebook and audio. This is an SF thriller. Sam Anderson, inventor of the device which sends convicted criminals back to the time of the dinosaurs, falsely confesses to his girlfriend's murder to save his accused daughter. From Karen Gustav Sumption, we saw So Quick Bright Things Come to Confusion in trade paperback and ebook. This is a far future SF post-colonial romance novel inspired in part by Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. From Aidan Thomas, we saw The Sunbearer Trials in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a young adult fantasy novel inspired by Mexico, the first in the Sunbearer duology. From Sally Thorne, we saw Angelica Frankenstein makes her match in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is an SF romantic comedy novel inspired by Shelley's Frankenstein, where his sister is creating her dream man out of body parts. 
seems like a reasonable approach to the dating scene. From Serena Valentino, we saw Raising the Horseman in hardcover and ebook. This is a young adult fantasy novel reimagining The Legend of Sleepy Hollow from a modern teen's perspective. From editors Larry Correa and Casey Ezel, we saw No Game for Nights in hardcover and ebook. This is an original anthology. By original anthology, we just mean the stories are new, they're not reprints. This should be fairly clear, but we're going fast, so I thought I'd say it. No Game for Nights is a bunch of new speculative fiction stories with a hard-boiled noir twist. From Tanvi Berwa, we saw Monsters Born and Made in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a young adult fantasy novel with South Asian and classical mythical elements about a teen who hunts Maristags, giant ocean beasts, so her family can survive. From Ash Bishop, we saw Intergalactic Exterminators, Inc. in trade paperback, hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is an SF novel. Russ finds a strange artifact in his grandfather's collection of antiquities, and it catches the interest of a ferocious alien and an overeager team of exterminators. I mean, do you really want your exterminators not like in it? They, they need to be in it. I don't want, I don't want exterminators that aren't committed. I mean, you've seen the bugs. You've seen the bugs in Florida. <laughs> From Sabrina Blackberry, we saw Dirty Lying Fairies in hardcover trade paperback and ebook. This is a paranormal romance novel, the first in a series. Thea discovers she's not human and adjusting to her face side makes her attraction to Devin Grayson dangerous. This had been edited from its original serial appearance on Wattpad. From C.W. Blackwell, we saw Song of the Red Squire in trade paperback and ebook. This is a folk horror novel set in 1949 North Carolina, where an agricultural inspector stumbles on suspicious farmers in a forgotten village with some bizarre old world harvest rites. From editor Tori Bovolino, we saw The Gathering Dark in hardcover and ebook. This is a young adult original anthology of 10 new takes on folk, horror, and urban legends. From Allison Brooke, we saw Dewey Decimated. And if you don't know that that's a pun, my heart breaks for you because there's this thing called the Dewey Decimal System where you find out what long string of numbers corresponds with the book that you want in the library, and then you go and stand in that section and see what else is there. Anyway, Dewey Decimated is out in hardcover, ebook, and audio. It is a fantasy mystery novel, sixth in the Haunted Library series. A body is found in the library basement, and librarian Carrie Singleton must once again figure out what happened, assisted by the resident cat and the library's ghost. From Roseanne A. Brown, we saw Sirwa Boteng's Guide to Vampire Hunting in hardcover and ebook. This is an upper middle grade fantasy novel, the first in the Sirwa Boteng series about a 12 year old training to become a slayer of the Obamafuo Order, Gahanian warriors charged with defeating dark creatures. From Anders Fager, we saw Swedish Cults in trade paperback, hardcover, and ebook. This is a collection of nine Lovecraftian slash cosmic horror stories set in Sweden, translated by Ian Lemke and Henning Koch from the Swedish. From Dana Hammer, we saw The Cannibal's Guide to Fasting in hardcover and ebook. This is an SF novel. A former research scientist and massive bodybuilder has been infected with a viral cannibalism and sent to a government mandated containment center while his infected brother runs a cannibal rights group. From Finbar Hawkins, we saw Stone in audio. This is a young adult fantasy novel. On the day of his dad's funeral, Sam finds a strange black stone, which gives him supernatural powers. From A.G. Howard, we saw Shades of Rust and Ruin in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a young adult fantasy novel, the first in the Mystical series. Nyx searches for her missing uncle on Halloween and finds herself in her own imaginary world. From Sigmund Kerzanowski, we saw Stravaging. Strange. In trade paperback, hardcover, and ebook, this is a collection of three stories in new translations, the title piece following the darkly humorous travels of an apprentice magus, a travel tale, and a philosophical parable parody of Kant. From Eric LaRocca, we saw Things Have Gotten Worse Since We Last Spoke and Other Misfortunes in hardcover and ebook. This is a collection of three horror stories. From Shauna Lawless, we saw The Children of Gods and Fighting Men in hardcover and ebook. This is a fantasy novel first in the Gael Song series based on Irish mythology and history. From Gretchen Rue, we saw Steeped to Death in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a cozy fantasy mystery novel first in the Witch's Brew series. Phoebe Winchester inherits a Victorian mansion and a tea room slash bookstore from an aunt rumored to have been a witch. So that's all the books we're going to tell you about this week. We appreciate the likes and comments. We are at Locust Mag or at Locust Magazine on most platforms. And if you'd like to know more about Locust Magazine, it might seem like Locust is made at some huge ivory tower somewhere, but it's more like a scrappy band of slightly overeducated bookish people who like a challenge.
Locus is a monthly magazine that covers SF, fantasy, horror, and YA books that are coming out now, recently, and in the future. Side effects of reading Locus may include having a to-be-read pile of books that eclipses the sun, using vocabulary your friends don't know, learning way too much about how the sausage is made, and accidentally starting a career in the science fiction fantasy horror book publishing space. Locus is available over the counter, through the mail, and through the ether. Go check us out at www.locusmag.com. You can subscribe to the print magazine. Locus is available in a digital edition, and one day we will download it straight to your prefrontal cortex. Patreon donations start as low as a dollar per month. We are a 501c3 nonprofit. Come back and see us again soon, and we'll be here next week with more new books. This is Amelia from the future. We had some technical difficulties, um, so we're going to fix it now. Putting this in with fantasy, from Talia Lakshmi Kaluri, we saw What We Fed to the Manticore, out from Tin House in trade paperback, ebook, and audio, from the starred Publishers Weekly Review. The unifying premise of Kaluri's exquisite debut collection, stories narrated from various animal perspectives, might seem gimmicky or cute, but it's neither. Instead, these nine exceptional stories centered on a variety of mammal and bird species and set in global locations ranging from the Sundarbans to the open ocean, from the Arctic to Delhi, feel both timeless and urgent. Stephen Dedman, we saw Charm, Strangeness, Mass, and Spin, out from Norstrelia Press in Australia in trade paperback and ebook from the Fantastic Fiction Review. The collection genuinely does have something for everyone. Stounding tales of time travel, alien worlds, and alternate realities. Stories set against dystopias almost indistinguishable from our own world, new twists on Arthurian myth, and trips back to the Old West.